So friends, it looks like we have a failure to communicate. Actually, that's not true at all. We're communicating very well. I just got off the phone with June. And she told us that that house right there is the house that she lived in when she dated Elvis. So if you read June's book, that is the house that she is talking about in the book. You see that front porch? They would go up on that front porch. There was a swing that they would sit on. She told me that the bathroom is this little place right here, this little spot. She told me that there was a, uh, like an apartment in the backyard right there. And that alley back there is where her and Elvis parked. Elvis has been to this house. There's photos of Elvis, Red West, June, all of them in this house on this little street in Biloxi. Now, of course, a lot of things have changed since back then. But the first night she dated Elvis, she pulled up in front of the house. Now later, they would go to the back alley and park behind the house, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But that night, they pulled up in front of the house. Now we don't know if they were on that side and he was gonna go that way, or if they were on this side and he was gonna go this way. I would speculate usually it would be this way because he'd be on this side of the street, but we don't know. But imagine she was supposed to be home at 9.30 that night but it was six o'clock in the morning. They pulled up here at three and waited three more hours in the car together. She gets out, nervous. You know how it is if you've ever done it. Comes up here, Elvis is with her and she says, shh, that's my mama's room right here, be quiet. And then what happened, Trey? So yes, yeah, so Elvis goes back and gets in her, his car and as he drives down the road, June waits to watch him uh, ride off. And he sticks his head out the window and waves to her and beats the horn twice. And it would be like a goodbye sign that Elvis would always do. To beep, beep. beep, beep and if he stuck his head out the window, we would have to think that he was going that way, right? And of course, and okay. June, June stayed here and watched him, of course, drive off, thinking about, will I ever see this guy again? That was her thought, because Elvis was going to pick Scotty and Bill up from the motel down the road here. And um, they're heading out to Florida for a show that evening. So, so they what, slept all night. Imagine Scotty and Bill got their uh, their rest. Elvis stayed out with this uh, June one Nico of Biloxi, <laughs> Mississippi, out on the beach a few miles, uh, not a mile, about five minutes down the road from here, and you know made a new girlfriend. But anyway, think about that. Without the interstate, Elvis, Scotty, and Bill hit the road to Florida. That had to be like a twice the amount of time that we can travel it now. Easily, yeah. And Elvis did it and played that night. So anyway, June goes into this house. We assume the window is here that it was a mom's bedroom. Her mom is awake, sitting on her bed. June's busted. We've all been there before, right? So we know this feeling. She said that, I believe in her book, she says she probably, her mom probably could hear her heart pounding out of her chest after being caught sneaking in at 6 a.m. in the morning here at 17 years old too. Let's think about that. But anyway, her mom says, do you know what time it is? Yes, ma'am, you know, I'm sorry. Let's go to sleep, June. We'll talk about this in the morning. So June gets into the bed with her mama and she could not sleep because all she could do was relive the night that she just had with the biggest star in the world, Elvis Presley. So anyway, June wakes up at 10 a.m., I believe it says in her book, which I recommend to go eBay and Amazon, get June's book. And um, she could not wait to tell her mom what happened that night. Her mom listens, smiles at her, says, you know, well, you know, don't get too, you know, caught up in this, June. She goes to work. June could not just get this out of her mind. Would she ever see Elvis Presley again? And of course, as history would have it, she would, and he, uh, she would become his girlfriend here in Biloxi, Mississippi. So what does Spa guy always say? Tighten up. June? She tightened up, right? Yeah, Elvis, Elvis tightened, tightened up. Brought up. June home at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Elvis or tightened down. Tightened down. I, I think it was tightened up, Spy Guy. But uh, you know you know how us guys are sometimes. We, you know, we bring a girlfriend's home at 6 o'clock in the morning, I guess. I don't know, but it was a, they were young and having a good time in life. So in June's book, she talked about parking in this alley, and you see that street light 
they would park, I would assume, going in that direction right there. He would park on maybe on the right-hand side, right under that street light right there. And then we feel like they would walk through on the other side of the apartment. Later, June told us she lived upstairs in this apartment uh, right behind the original house. You see, there's an upstairs there when she got married. And But we feel like that they would have been right along in here parking and then when she would go home or he would walk her to the door, they would walk right through here. And I guess they did not go in the back door. I don't think this cover was here at the time. I think that was probably just open. That carport was not there. But they might have gone through that door. You never know. <laughs> 